In this video, we continue our look at the growing list of native Microsoft Teams devices. Today I have with me the Audio Codes C450 HD. We will be unboxing this device, uh, setting it up, doing a little bit of configuration, and then signing into it. Then we will take a look at the Microsoft Teams Admin Center in the Devices section, see our device there, update it to the latest firmware, and make sure everything is set up as we expect for Microsoft Teams on our desk phone. Let's check it out. All right, let's go ahead and unbox our C450 HD. Um, as I'm doing that, you may recognize the name is, is fairly close to the uh, other model, the Audio Codes 450 HD, uh, the Skype for Business version of the phone, the C450 HD was the, uh, the Microsoft Teams version that came out earlier this year. We'll go ahead and open our box here. Got our documentation up front, regulatory notices, all that good stuff. Let's set these off to the side. And right there up top is the actual device itself. There we go, plastic wrap, good stuff. And as we lift the cardboard piece up here, we've got all the rest of the pieces and components. We've got the cord for the handset itself. Set that right here. We've got some Cat5, some Ethernet cable here. And we've got the actual uh, stand so that the device stays propped upright on our desktop. Puts it at an optimal angle for viewing and interacting with the uh, large touchscreen display. And then we've got the handset. Snap open the uh, piece of tape there and pull that right out. Here we go. HD VoIP sounds better, it says. And then we have one more optional component for uh, mounting the device. Okay, we've got all the components that came with our device. Let's go ahead and take a look at setting it up. First, if we get the unit itself, we can see the front view here. We'll flip it around to the back. We've got an aux port off to the left. We've got our LAN port. We've got a PC port. We've got the handset port. There is our power port if we, uh, if we need to use that. Comes with a handy little rubber stopper there to protect it. And then two USB ports. So let's go ahead and take this uh, the cord for the handset and we'll plug that in like so. <clears throat> and then we will plug the other end of the handset shortly. And now we've got our ethernet cable. We'll go ahead and plug that right into the yellow port here. Provide our power over ethernet that way. Okay, we've got the stand. We're gonna go ahead and put the stand this way. We're going to slide these spots on the back right into those grooves. And this will allow us to set up the device like so. Grab our handsets and we will plug that in. There we go. Pop it down. We are plugged in, set up, ready to plug into power. All right, as you can see, we have plugged in the power. The device is powering up. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. C450 HD Teams phone is starting. And there we have it. Welcome to Microsoft Teams, a happier place for teams to work together. So we can go ahead and sign in at this time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sign in here. This is pretty straightforward stuff, just like any other native Microsoft Teams device we've signed into in the past. We click sign in. We go through the Intune components of the sign in process, company portal, etc. Okay, what we're gonna do here is actually sign in from another device rather than pecking through the whole sign on. 
And there we have it. We're gonna go out to the URL provided and provide that code and get signed in. And there we go. I have entered the sign-in information at the microsoft.com slash device logon address. Um, entered the code in there, prompts you to sign in with the account you wanna sign into the phone with. You do that and here we go. So for the what's next, we need to allow permission to make and manage phone calls and then activate Android device administrator, which allows my organization to apply required settings to your device. Let's go ahead and say next there. All right, M MFA has set in one moment. All right, MFA code entered. Device is registered using Workplace Join. Being added to the company portal. I like that they make the suggestion to feel free to do something else while device setup completes. Kind of their way of saying, this could take a while. Luckily, it's a pretty quick process. And in the video, the text in a little white box is not coming through very well but it says, we are signing you in, please wait. Let's see if I tilt that. Uh, there we go, you can kind of see it that way. And there we go, we are signed in. So now we just click got it. We say this is a personal account, it is not a shared account. And we get logged in, have access to our calls, meetings, and voicemail. We click on through, we'll see meetings, see voicemail and then we can go up to our options up there to uh, go into settings sign out switch tenants if we wanted to here set a status message all that good stuff let's head on over to the Microsoft Teams admin center and take a look at what this looks like in the admin center all right here we are in the Microsoft Teams admin center we just set up our audio code C450HD and signed into it with uh, an account that is in this tenant. So let's click on devices. Here you can see that we've got five devices that have been signed into for this tenant. Five of them need updates and four of them are offline. Uh, the other four that have been previously signed into are offline. The current one, the C450HD right up top is online. We've got a number of options once you highlight a device for managing the device up top. Uh, you can edit a few settings about it. You can assign it a configuration if from the configuration profile it's been set up. You can pull diagnostics, uh, the logs from the device, update it, restart it, uh, block it, and remove it from this list as well. Let's go ahead and click on the device itself, pull up some properties about it. You can see it's online. We can see that there, uh, what the manufacturer and model is the last time that it was seen. Uh, we can see the serial number that's in place there. Uh, and we can also see the current firmware for the device that it was set on June 3rd. And we see that we have the Audio Codes Partner Agent app on there as well. Now, if we look at the history, you'll notice that a update firmware update has been queued uh, that was set in about 11 minutes ago and we have an OEM update that has been initiated and we just need to wait now for these to complete and then we can uh, take a look at what it looks like afterwards. All right at this time the OEM update that was showing in the portal has applied and completed successfully and we can now see that the, uh, the phone is starting back up. The firmware update has been initiated. Looking back in the Teams Admin Center at our device, we see actions are still pending, but now only the firmware update is showing. The OEM update is now missing. If we look at the history, we see that the OEM update completed. I might have gone a little bit trigger happy on queuing up other items here, just testing and playing around. Um, but we have the firmware update that has now been initiated and that is running following up on the OEM update. We now have a screen letting us know that they an update has been installed and things are being set up for us. And now that I have re refreshed this page, 
we see our firmware update is completed. Uh, going back over to the phone, we can see that the update completed and the phone rebooted once again. At this point, our firmware upgrade has been completed and the phone is now restarting again. All right, the phone has finished booting. It is now back up after its OEM update and the firmware update as well. After the firmware update, we can see there are no more software updates that are pending. Um, we still have actions pending because of those other <laughs> requests that I put in to have the device restart and fetch diagnostics, just doing a little bit of testing. If we go back out to our devices though, we can now see that we will have, should say, five devices with four needing an update once it finishes loading. And there we go, five devices, four need an update. One more thing I wanna point out though is uh, how to kind of set up the phone uh, with a configuration profile from the, uh, from the Teams Admin Center. We click up here, take a look at our settings, and we go to our device settings, and we take a look at our date and time we see that we are automatically retrieving date and time. We are set to GMT. Uh, it's all set automatically. I don't wanna change this manually here. We wanna show how we're gonna push a configuration profile out to the device. So let's go ahead and go back over to our admin portal and set that up. Back at our admin portal, you can see I've created a standard phone profile, pretty basic thing you go through here, you say, new configuration profile, you give it a name, optionally a description, and then you put all this stuff in here. You can choose to have the device lock, what the pin's gonna be, timeout settings, you can set the time zone, etc. cetera. Um, we've got device settings for display, uh, power saving, screen capture, and then we got network settings. Do we want to enable DHCP? Do we want logging to be enabled? Do we want to set some of these things more specifically? Turn on our network PC port or off? Um, these are all things that you can set. As we take a look at this profile that I did set up, you'll see that we have changed the time zone to be UTC uh, uh, five hours behind UTC, which is Eastern time for the US. Um, and then we've got this set in the uh, 12 hours instead of the 24 hour format of AM and PM. Uh, everything else I pretty much left the same. I enabled screen capture, I enabled logging, but that's, that's about the only changes I made. So we'll go ahead and cancel here. Now we will go back out to our devices and we want to, uh, once this finish, finishes loading, highlight our device and then click assign configuration. Highlight assign configuration and now we can see that we have our selected device let's just type in standard and there it is we have a profile so we're gonna select that profile these are our selected devices we'll click save and it does its magic work in the background And we have our little green banner up top telling us that this has been queued as well. So if we click on the device information, once it loads, we'll take a peek into the history. We can see that we have a config update initiated. There's the config update initiated. And as it finishes, we'll take a look back at the phone to make sure our time is now correct. Back over here, we can see that we are making some changes per the new config that was uh, applied in the portal. Okay, that configuration profile has finished applying. Looking over here, we can see the config update has now completed. Let's take a look on the phone and make sure our time is displaying correctly. Back over to our phone, we can see that indeed, we are now looking at the proper time. Uh, it is Eastern time showing up there. We have the correct day and date and we can swipe to unlock which we now need to use that unlock pin because we set the phone to lock that was not set ahead of time that was the default that was in there we're now unlocked 
Let's go take a look at our date and time settings. And there we go. We are set to automatic. We have got our correct time zone set properly uh, to the GMT minus five. And there you have it. In summary, we unboxed the native Microsoft Teams C450 HD from Audio Codes. We got it set up on the desktop. We signed into it. And then we began to make uh, firmware updates, OEM updates, and configuration profile changes via the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. We got to see what that experience was like both in the Admin Center and on the phone right here behind me. I hope it's been helpful. And if always, and as always, if there are questions, thoughts, feedback, please drop them here on YouTube in the uh, in the comment section below the video. And um, that's all we got. I hope we'll see you for the next Microsoft Teams device overview.